Hi, how you doing? It's Sam Darby here for Waterfront Marine. We're out here on the South River on the Rabalo 302. On the Rabalo 302, you have the flip down seat in the, in the stern of the boat. You just lift up, you can flip down. And this gives you your additional seating here for if you're out cruising around with friends or you're cruising out to your fishing grounds where you want to fish at. And then when you're done fishing, you can just store this back, right back away again. You have an oversized live well here on the uh, port side, which is nice in floor uh, fish boxes on port and starboard side. And inside this, inside them, you can see how deep they go way up underneath, very large, and uh, they self drain out with pumps. On the Rebalo 302, um, you have twin 300 Yamahas. Right now, we have engaged the sea station, which is going to hold us in this exact position that we're in for the GPS location. So the motors will be engaging and disengaging uh, in the four wheel reverse, which is going to hold us right here. So if you are fishing, it gives you the ability to be able to stay on top of where you are instead of putting your anchor down, especially if it's over top of a wreck. On the Rebalo 302, you have two different options in regards to the bait station. You can have the bait station set up, which is what we see here today, or you can have the other option. It has another flip down seat located right here, and you won't have that. But on the bait station feature, which is really nice, uh, for running out offshore fishing or gathering with friends and family. You have another live well located right here. You also have uh, your sink to be able to wash your hands off and you have a filler for the sink. So then you can roll out a rubber mat and then put all your fishing gear on there. And then you have the flip out cooler. So you load your cooler up and then it slides out very nicely for, for you like this. And then it easily just slides right back in. One finger push, it's locked back away. As you're sitting here, you'll see get a good glimpse of how large the oversized hardtop is on the 302. Very wide from either side, the lengthwise, it covers from gunnel to gunnel. So if it is raining, you're not getting wet. And uh, the oversized top, which gives you structure and integrity. And as you move forward into the helm area, um, glass enclosure, glass all three sides with a tilt-out window, real nice feature. Uh, the helm location is low in comparison to many other models that you go to. Uh, where they have much higher ones. This gives you visibility for anybody of, of different sizes, different heights. Two oversized SIMRAD screens. You can navigate what you want to in there, electronics and depth finder, fish finder, and then navigation. Uh, tilt steering wheel. You can tilt it and out. Of course, you have the Optimus controls, your throttle controls, uh, and all your uh, electronic controls on either side. Flip down bolster seat, which is very comfortable on either side. Uh, one of the real nice features of the Rivalo is the ability to be able to sit all the way back in the seat and still navigate the boat and drive the boat. Uh, even with the seat flipped up, you still have that same exact ability to be able to drive the boat, navigate the boat, and have a good visual. You'll see you have an oversized uh, seat located right here at the center console area, and that's where your head's located. One of the real nice features of the Rivalo 302, and actually all the Rivalo lines, uh, from the 180 on up is the front entry head. This is a huge feature as you see you have an entrance straight down inside your head and uh, the, head cl the clearance is substantial. I'm fully standing up and uh, it gives you a nice area to change in, use the bathroom um, or hang some other fishing rods inside that area. On the uh, port side you have tackle storage and on the starboard side a real nice feature is your trash can. So, so many boats, you go somewhere, you got a trash can hanging off or a trash bag hanging. Here you have a trash container, you can actually put your trash in and store it away. We have a lot of nice features here in the bow area. You have uh, dual cup holders on either side, located right here. You have a lot of in-floor storage. And in this in-floor storage area is, is a location where you want your ladders located, your table's located for right here, your, your bow filler cushion, which is your table and filler cushion, and then there's your legs to make it a table and or the flat surface area there so you can lay out in. Um, as we move forward, uh, you have two, two more boxes up here. The cushions can be removed very easily. And then inside there you have um, the two boxes. And they flip up and you have oversized area. You can use those again as fish boxes or you can use them as storage or you can use them as coolers. In the bow area, you also have another cooler located right here that directly drains out. Uh, as you go along, they have the front gunnels up here. They're oversized. And then you have your windlass control. Two controls right here. You also have two controls at the helm. 
Here over here is a wash down, salt water wash down. So it's whatever your water you're in is getting washed down for your anchor and your line that comes in if it's all nasty. Uh, flip up cleats. You have those on the, uh, both sides, mid and stern. Uh, on the Verbalo 302, we have this large shade in their bow area you can install. It goes up in a matter of about 20, 30 seconds. And uh, as you see, it gives you this large protection area. So if you're out here, July, August, September even, you're getting a lot of sun rays, you want to get yourself out of the sun a little bit, this is a tremendous area to do so in. It's covering basically the whole bow area so you can get comfortable and uh, sit out here without getting cooked to death in the sun. Uh, easy to install, easy to take down. I'll give you a quick little takedown of this and I'll uh, show you how easy that is. Uh, again, because you have nice wide gunnels, don't be afraid to get up on your boat and literally just undo it from either side. And once it's undone, you come over and it's literally just unclipping each one of the clips. And as you see, they're located right here. They come undone very quickly and very easily. And now our shade's down and we can get it back up under it moving again. If you're at low RPMs, you can run this up to about 1500 RPMs, I think it's fine. Uh, if you start running high speeds, I don't, we don't recommend that. We advise you to take it down. But it goes right away, fold it up, put back away, you put your poles down, and again, 30 seconds, you have it up and down. How you doing, folks? This is Sam Darby here from Waterfront Marine. Uh, we just went over to Rabalo 302, and I want to take a couple minutes to thank uh, Kaylee and uh, Eric from uh, Prop Talk Magazine. I uh, spent a lot of time out here today going over this. It was really nice features that we have here on the Rabalo 302. And, uh, Give us a call here at Waterfront Marine. If you're interested, we can get you a sea trial on one of the boats. Uh, not just the 302, we have the 272, 242, center consoles, 222, R200, and R160 and 180. 360 coming out, we will have that in February. So you give us a call, we'd like to have an opportunity to get you out here on the water and uh, get you boating in a Rabalo. Thank you very much, you all have a blessed day. Don't miss another Prop Talk video. Subscribe to our channel today.